Hey everybody, welcome to the very first edition of RV Quick Tips with Mike, your number one source for how-to info for all things RV. Today we're going to be talking about one of the last things folks like to talk about, dumping the dreaded holding tanks. So I bring you three tips on dealing with number one and number two. First of all, the items that we're going to need, a good quality sewer hose, the appropriate fittings to go with the sewer hose. I highly recommend some gloves, and if you don't like these kind of gloves, you can use disposable gloves, and in this case I made up this little container that you can store them in, pull them out as you need them. It's also a good idea to have some disinfectant spray. Again, in my case, I simply use a combination of bleach and water. You could use the product of your choice. The first tip is making sure you have a good connection between your sewer hose and the camper. First thing we're going to do is take off this cap, give it a little turn, tilt it down and make sure there's not a bunch of liquid in there already. There's not, so we're good to go. Bring my sewer hose up here, line up these teeth and give it a turn. There's a good, nice fitting. You can lift up on here and make sure that we're tight all the way around. We're good to go. And now for the sewer connection at your campground. In most cases, this fitting right here is going to be threaded, in which case you can take the threaded end of your connector here, put it in, give it a slight turn, and you're locked and ready to go. In many cases, like this one, there are no threads in here. A lot of times this will be broken if it's an older campground, in which case I recommend having one of these flexible connectors here. Some people call them donuts, they come in different names. You can push that down in there, push your connection in like this, and make a tight fitting. You may need to take a rock or a board, bungee cords. Some people even use bags of sand to make that a secure connection so that no sewer gases are escaping and that sort of thing. Then, when you're through, pop it off, rinse it off with that separate hose that you only use for this. Once you've completed that, you can connect these in, end to end, and keep any of the fluid from escaping. Toss that under your camper and you're good to go. Tip number two, I want to talk to you about how and when to open the valves. Generally speaking, you'll want to open up the black valve first, gray valve second. Gray is your shower water and your sink water. Black is your toilet water only. So if your tanks are full, reach up in here, pull open the black all the way, let it drain out. When you don't hear the water running through here anymore, come over here, pull your gray, and let it run through. It's going to help rinse your hoses and keep the fittings clean. The only scenario where that might not be the case is if you're at a campground for a week or so, in which case I would open up the gray and leave the gray open. That allows it all to drain out as you take a shower and so on. Then at the end of your trip or when the black tank's full, come over here, pull the black tank, drain it out completely before you go home. The third tip I want to talk to you about is keeping your tanks clean and your hoses clean. Most new RVs today have a cool feature like this one that has a tank flush valve. You simply hook up a hose right here, thread it on, turn it on. And when you do that, there are spray ports inside your holding tank that spray all over in there and help clean out the tank. You want to make sure that you use a hose specifically and only for this purpose, not your freshwater drinking hose. Also, always make sure these valves are open before you do that because it's going to put pressure and water in the holding tanks, which could cause it to back up. Hey, thanks for joining us. Check back here often for more RV quick tips with Mike. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.